Hey everyone, back out in the garden. Today's the day we're going to start dividing the plants in these pots or taking the plants out of the pots so that we can plant them into the garden. So this is a caramel heuchera, the blue moon phlox. And I've showed you guys this before, but I'm just gonna show these real quick and then I will show the finished product. These are two Southern Comfort Phlox. It's a tiny little Jacob's Ladder in there. And a wee white hydrangea. I'm not sure we're gonna get all this stuff planted today, but give it a whirl. And then over here is another, well, there's two other Jacob's Ladders in here. These are all heaven sent Jacob's Ladder. This some um, pretty, very or a different color foliage with the green and the red. That is a Dervila Kodiak Fresh. Uh, and then this beast with the pretty yellow flowers is a Golden Alexander. So we're going to attempt to take these pots apart. Like I said, plant them in the landscape. Uh, not sure how much we're gonna get done, but um, I'll show you the finished product when we get there. So stay tuned. Plant number one out, the Jacob's Ladder put it in a pot because we're not sure where we're putting it at the moment. Pot two being dismantled to get the blue moon flocks out. The hooker uh, and the Veronica will be going someplace else, so we'll deal with those later. Okay, so I think we came up with a pattern. It's gonna be flocks, Southern Comfort Hookera, flocks, Southern Comfort Hookera, flocks. And I don't know about you, but I think the blue and the orangey, coppery color of the Southern Comfort Hookah kind of blends nicely with the chartreuse of the Sun King Aurelia. And the orange of the beautiful, blooming Gibraltar Azalea. Just going to check that out. So we'll give you it a uh, finished product. So stay tuned. I think this is where the caramel hookah is going to go. I'm going to put that here. And then this is the wee white hydrangea. That's gonna go somewhere in this big open space. Last year we had caladiums planted here, so hopefully it fills the spot and hopefully it does okay. Tried hydrangeas here before, back in here, as I mentioned in my previous video, and they did not work. So cross your fingers and we'll show you the final result. Okay, so we got the caramel hookah planted. I know it doesn't look much now, just watered it. It'll come back. And we got the wee white hydrangea placed here. Cross your fingers on this one because hydrangeas for some reason do not seem to like it up here and I'm not exactly sure why. But got that done. So we've got everything planted. Just take a quick swoop through here. Seducer Hosta, Chantilly Lace, Goat's Beard, Sweet Tea, Hookerella is looking good. I finally took the covers off. Got the Hakanakoa All Gold. We're going to be planting that Shadowland Diamond Lake Hosta there. Ooh la la, Hosta there. Hoss Halo Hydrangeas just planted last year, so not sure if we'll see blooms on them this year. Again, the Gibraltar Azalea, Aurelia Sun Kings. Here's the Blue Moon Phlox. We, that's a new one. This is the Southern Comfort Hookah we, we took them out, the, out of the pot and transplanted. Blue Moon Phlox transplanted from a pot. Another Southern Comfort Hookah transplanted from a pot. And then a new Blue Moon Phlox. And the Holly, which has got lots of new growth on it, which is looking really pretty. So this bed is slowly but surely coming along. I think it looks good. I think we need a couple of more things, but from what it was two years ago to now, 
I think it's come a long way. So I hope you enjoyed this video of transplanting native shrubs and perennials from pots, grocery pots. They spent all winter in those pots and they're absolutely fine. And you can see they transplanted fine. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.